movie set at Worst Warner Bros. news ever since Rings of Power came out. I don't think so. See, this is funny because you reacted to it last night on our Picard watch party. And I was like, I think that Dio, you feel like this is a, going to be a mistake. This is going to be a bad move, right? I sure do. Jaden, what do you think about the prospect so, of getting Lord of the Rings? We actually Warner talked Bros. about this um, before Rings of Power was dropped. We talked about how what if they redid the Lord of the Rings movies? And I know both of you were like, eh, no. And I was like, I would be fine with them redoing those movies. I think it'd be cool. I have faith in Amazon. I think this is great. Let's try it out. I love those movies. And then Rings of Power dropped, and it was the worst thing I've ever seen for the most part. <laughs> I will say Velma was worst for me. Velma was worst. Well, we yeah. literally stopped watching it. It was so bad. We're like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. I refuse no. to do more than one episode of Velma. I could at least watch it. It wasn't good, obviously. It was stupid. It was very mockable, which Velma was fun. Is like Velma is like watching a terrorism video, like a video with <laughs> terrorism in it. It's like, it's not meant to be entertaining. It they wasn't meant to be entertaining. Head. It's meant to offend you. Like, it's meant to shock you and offend you. So I don't even consider Velma entertaining. Yeah, the people who made Rings of Power were not trying to offend us. Right. Yeah. They just, like, they just, they just did. did in every way. <laughs> it is what it right. is. But because of Rings of Power, now I'm very turned off to the idea of Lord of the Rings reboot. I think it's possible. I'm always, you know, kind of the optimist. And so I think it's possible that, yeah, it could be good. But I'm not thinking it will be. I'm not looking forward to it. Well, I think the world just needs more time. We need like 20 years before you yeah, right? need some healing. Well, I, you know, what I think Cal it's mentioned? a terrible time to, yeah, like, yeah, Rings of Power just came out and everyone's like, wow, that sucked. And they're like, all right, you want more then? Also, well, look at Warner Brothers is thinking. We just talked about like, this. Do you understand how iconic those movies are? Like when someone thinks Lord of the Rings, they think the Peter Jackson films. Right. Like you're not going to be able to see Frodo without seeing Elijah, uh, with whatever his name is, Elijah, Elijah Craig. Wood. Elijah Wood. <laughs> Elijah Craig is. Elijah Craig is a whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to see uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings without some Elijah Craig. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not going to watch the new Lord of the Rings without some Elijah Craig. Or some Woodford. Elijah Wood. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like <sighs> Sam White. Like you can't you can't redo this. You it's need, pretty like, soon, too. Like, they're not that old. Yeah. Like, 20 years or so? Yeah. 20 years need, old, yeah. You need a minute. You need another. You need people to forget. Okay, so, to be fair, I don't think that they're, that they're going to do the movies again. They're not. They're not going to do The Hobbit. They're not going to do The Lord of the Rings movies. So, this no, is what not... What are they going to do? The first... If, uh, yeah, so I don't even know what's going on. So, this Tell is... a little bit what's happening. So, they have they have some rights to make new movies based on, like, set in Middle Earth. Same thing like with, with what Rings of Power did. Like, Rings of Power, they didn't want to do... They actually have the rights to the books. So, so are they going to do First Age stuff? We're going to have like, I, a bunch of, like, Valar and everything? I, I don't I don't think so. I think you're going to do early Third Age stuff, which is what you should do. Like, Angmar and... and like talk about the rise of the Witch King and how the Nazgul started coming around and how Sauron got yes. reestablished again. What well, you could tell some interesting stories, man. I I tell you what, you could do a Tom Bombadil, like even a you could do like a, a movie or you could do I I, I a think Tom Bombadil like it would be nice. That's what everyone missed from the Lord of the Rings. Some sort of like an anthology series would be amazing. Just do a, a small set of movies. Now, now let's let's get into the article because I'm feeling yeah. like this could be. And those are valid criticisms that you guys had. Like, yeah, Rings of Power just came out. Like, the the brand or the this is the idea for general audiences that we're going to get another Lord of the Rings thing. There's going to be a little saturation there. People are going to say like, uh, no, Lord of the Rings that show was crap. I don't think so. So there's going to be a little bit of that. But I think most people are were able to separate and say this new Amazon thing's stupid. Oh, the guys, the people who were doing the movies are doing this. Okay, I'll check it out. So I think there is a difference between like that. That could provide a little bit of the comparison they need to where it actually made the hobbit look better like the rings of power made the hobbit yeah. look better. i think that's probably one of the we can get into the article uh, before we go too far but um right. we do need to remember that jackson did do the hobbit movies right like the man is not you know sacred he didn't he's not a perfect <laughs> director yeah also the like, interest is great in, in the right scenario we got great star wars but also in the wrong scenario we got pretty stupid star wars so yeah to so, be a, yeah to be a peter jackson defender though it, it was supposed to be guillermo del, del toro that was doing those that was doing those movies then peter jackson stepped in at the last minute, in like the last minute as well. and the studio interfered saying we need three movies out of this so they had to they bloated it out. 
and that's what made it so i think most people would agree that the hobbit movies if you would have taken out the original storylines like tariel yeah it could have been one movie maybe two like a like a like a dune like the hobbit is a tiny book it's really really short it's not yeah you don't really need the the whole bad guy thing i i think you you could have done it in one long epic movie Thank you, Ryan. Nobody will tolerate a Lord of the Ring remake. It's impossible to improve on perfection. Anyway, other tales from Middle Earth is fine if they learned their lesson from Rings of Power disaster. Yeah, press X. For I, that you know one. what? You know what I would love is, which this comment kind of goes into my thought. I would just love for these new movies or whatever this project. I don't even know much about it. If it's going to be movies or what? But if this new Lord of the Rings project does fantastic. And Amazon sucks a big banana and is like, oh my God, what racism. Yeah. And just like, yeah, well, just put something good out and people will like it. That'd be, that'd be poetic. You know what I want to see is I want to see them introduce, like, just tell a story in the East, like Rings of Power, like what Rings of Power should have been. Just go right. tell a story in the East and have it be a group of the Southlanders, like the real Southlanders and the Haradrim and all that. And have it be really diverse, but appropriate to the, the the location that you're in, and tell that story and tell it well, a- and get all the actors from you know that part of the world where basically it's set. And I think that would be kind of interesting to do what Rings of Power should have done, which is maybe maybe showing how Sauron set up and, and got the east and the south to support him and that would be kind of interesting and you could tell a story about the blue wizards you could tell a story moving forward from the from the films too where you where you introduce a new villain where you set up a new villain and 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 if you want to know what who could be the villain in like a in like a fourth age series go look at like i think men of the west has some of these lord of the rings channels probably nerd of the rings they they, they all have uh, in deep geek there's people who have videos on what could happen or what would happen after the third age and and what Tolkien said about that. So there's some room to explore. But the key is, who are you going to have do this? And are they going to do it respectfully? Because fans will give you the give you some grace and, and, and allow you to have some room for creative liberty if you're doing it respectfully. If they can tell that you have good motives and good intentions. Like, right. for instance, they changed Faramir drastically from the books. They uh, changed some stuff with Arwen. From the book there's a lot of stuff that they changed from the books but they did it faithfully and they did it respectfully and that's why people accepted it they've got to learn like ryan's saying the lesson from rings of power even though that wasn't their failure they're just like yeah well, obviously they went wrong here we're gonna this is the fork in the road we're gonna go toward the respectful faithful route stick as close to the book as we can and not try to tell our own story not try to tell the book that you know tr- tell a story that tolkien never never wrote yeah I agree. I think that's probably the most offensive part about Rings of Power is they're like, we're going to take Tolkien's work and do our own thing with it. It's like, no, that's not why the Lord of the Rings movies were yeah, successful. Yeah, and changing what's there, I think I think that's the, that's the deal. Is that If you change what's there and it's for just because you want the convenience, because out of convenience, that's where people have a problem with it. Versus you could tell your own story, like Rings of Power could have been its own story about the Southlanders. And people, if it was just isolated to that, but no, they had to change all this stuff about the elf cancer. It, just like, there's so many things that they altered in that. There's Balrogs where there shouldn't be Balrogs. You know yeah, or at least actually. change the history of Mithril and everything. It's like, yeah. yeah. You know what's sad about this is they tried to do what you've mentioned Link a few times about how they give the story of Sauron and how he's getting the Southland to support him. But that like we didn't get that at all from Rings of Power. Right. They spent like four minutes Not in yet. the Southlands. Not yet. And well, are, are, is it going to come? Do <laughs> no, I think because they I just they know. just nuked them. They nuked them yeah. with Mountain Doom. So it's, <laughs> well, like yeah, doing. they spent four minutes in the Southlands, and honestly, the Southlands didn't support him. There was like four dudes that were like, "Wait, we're gonna get killed by orcs? All right, fine, we'll just go over there." And that was about it. They yeah. like they, they didn't help in any way. It wasn't like they were supporting and they were this power that Sauron used to. They were just like there for a second and then died after they're like, yeah, Sauron kind of sucks. And it's like, I don't know if that's in the story since I'm the Lord of the Rings normie that Sauron went to the Southlands in the East and gathered support. You mentioned that a minute ago. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, that that is in the story that, well, that, I mean, because he got their support somehow, you know, so I think he did. One of the times that he fled, he fled to the East and he kind of regained there. And so that's where he set up a lot of his stuff. And the Blue Wizards also, it was speculated they went there. So you could tell a whole story of Sauron and the Blue Wizards. 
Yeah. And what happened to them? Did they turn? Did one of them turn? Did both of them? Are they still good? They're still out there. There's so much stuff that you can do that Tolkien was like, yeah, I didn't really, you know, flesh that out, yeah. and that people would be fine with you saying, okay, cool. As long as you don't do something egregiously stupid, like make him fall in love with one of them or something, like <laughs> have this whole love story Sauron like we have between Sauron and Galadriel. Because of you. 